Do you want to help solve the climate crisis? If the answer is yes, then this video is going to give you seven actionable steps to help make your life fossil fuel free. We'll start with why it is important, then we'll do a quick check-in on how you're feeling around the climate crisis, and it'll show you how action's gonna help you overcome any feelings of discouragement. Then we'll jump into each of the steps with an overview of each. There are additional resources in the comments below, and if you wanna dig deep, uh, you can download a free ebook that has a checklist of the action items, in addition to product guides and services to help you implement them all in your own life. Now, let's get started. I want today specifically to give special encouragement to discouraged citizens of Earth, all of you climate champions out there. Do you ever feel climate anxiety? Do you fear an unpredictable climate, the destruction of your quality of life? It doesn't matter if you've read books like Drawdown that show that there's a path to solving the climate crisis, a path we can actually move to quite quickly. You are still prone to not believing there is a solution. You forget what you need to do to solve the climate crisis. You're looking for a spectacular solution, a movie episode where everyone goes out and solves the climate crisis at once. All governments and corporations wave a magic wand and solve it overnight. But the solution to the climate crisis is a billion small decisions and big decisions. Billions of changes that build up to massive changes in the way humans impact the biosphere. Have you ever thought, why is this happening? What am I supposed to do with this? If you have these thoughts, the best remedy is action. Action will teach you where you really rest and you will find fulfillment when you're facing despair by acting on solutions. This video will show you seven actionable steps to make your life fossil fuel free in your home. Before we get started, here are some positive thoughts of encouragement. When you think about the difference you can make rather than just focusing on the magnitude of the problems, I think there's every reason for optimism. If you want to make small changes, change the way you do things. If you want to make major changes, change the way you see things. The question of the century was how best can we shift to a culture of permanence, both for ourselves and for the biosphere that sustains us. Regeneration is not only about bringing the world back to life, it is about bringing each of us back to life. And now, the top seven steps to go fossil fuel free in your own home. Number one, space heating. Unless you live around the equator, you probably need to heat your home sometimes. Home heating is actually the largest source of emissions for many people. If you are heating your home with propane, natural gas, oil, or coal, you need to swap it out for a fossil fuel free system. There are many alternatives available to fossil fuel based heating. First, you should try to make your home as passive as possible. This includes reducing air leakage and heat loss through facades and glazing. Next, you should retrofit your home with a heat pump. Heat pumps are similar to your refrigerator, they just move heat into the space instead of removing it. Heat pump systems you can install include portable heat pumps. There are some newer options in the market that can allow an existing space to have both heating and cooling with portable units. Please see the ebook at the link below to find out more. Through wall heat pumps. These are similar to air conditioning units that you traditionally might see in a hotel. Though not as efficient as some other options, they're still better than burning fossil fuels. Mini split heat pumps. Mini split units are very common in retrofits and offer great flexibility on delivering heating and cooling in homes. Air based heat pumps. If you have an existing furnace, there are heat pump systems that can replace your furnace. Uh, these can be extremely efficient and improve the indoor air quality in your home. Ground source heat pumps. Ground source heat pumps are the most efficient option, can work very well in cold climates. They can be combined with many delivery systems inside of homes. Next on the list, number two, transportation. We all need to leave our homes sometimes, right? How do you get places? Are you filling a machine with fossil fuels to do this? If you are, it's time to ditch that machine and go all electric or all muscle. The most efficient form of transportation is the bicycle. Electric bicycles now offer a great alternative to cars. I made another video demonstrating this which shows that an e-bike can get over 2,100 miles per gallon when making units equivalent with a gas-powered car. Think about that for a moment. 
over 2,100 miles per gallon. And this way, e-bikes offer significant savings over electric cars even, which typically only get around 100 to 130 miles per gallon equivalent. If bikes aren't your thing, there are a growing number of electric options like scooters, skateboards, hoverboards, segways, and more that can get you from point A to point B. If you still need a car, go all electric. All electric options are expanding quickly in the market and prices continue to drop. In addition, the cost of maintenance for electric cars is much lower as there are so few moving parts compared to gas-based vehicles. If you still really want gas as a backup for range, at a minimum find a plug-in hybrid with 50 miles range or more so that the majority of your trips are all on electricity. Electricity is better than burning fossil fuels as electric cars have zero emissions from the car itself. So streets are made cleaner and quieter. In addition, the grid is getting cleaner each year with renewable energy which makes even source emissions better than burning fossil fuels in vehicles. Number three, water heating. Who doesn't love hot water coming out of a faucet? Hot water heating is one of the largest sources of emissions for many households though. How do you reduce this? The first thing to do is install low flow shower heads and low flow faucets. Shower heads work well uh, down to as low as one to 1.5 gallons per minute. Most older shower heads tend to be 2.5 to 5 gallons per minute. By swapping older shower heads out, you'll heat way less water up. You can also retrofit faucets with aerators that reduce the water flow and that can save a lot of water and heat annually. Water heaters are often natural gas or propane based, including instant hot and tank style water heaters. These can easily be replaced with heat pumps. Heat pumps can pull heat out of the air indoors or from the outdoors, and they will require a tank, uh, but it can easily be retrofitted into a home, and this can reduce your annual energy use by up to 75% compared to a gas-based system, and reduce the emissions associated with heating hot water by up to over 90%, depending on your grid. Number four, clothes drying. We all need to wash and dry our clothes sometimes. Globally, methods to dry clothes vary quite a bit, but in many countries, appliances use natural gas or propane to heat air to dry up clothes. If you have one of these units, you'll need to retire it and move to one of the following. One, all electric dryers. They offer an alternate to fossil fuel based units, but they still need wall vents, which can be fire hazards for homes. They're also not that efficient. Number two, condensing dryers are common in parts of the world and offer the benefit of not requiring venting. Uh, they are more efficient than all electric dryers and easier on your clothes. Number three, heat pump dryers offer the highest energy savings and they don't require venting. I highly recommend you look into getting one of these as the best option for machine drying clothes. I'll have a link to another video with a recommendation to one in the comments below. Finally, the most efficient way to dry clothes is with the sun. Line dried clothes offer a freshness you can't get with a machine as well. Not all climates can you do this all the time, but when you can, uh, it's definitely the most sustainable option. Number five, cooking. Anyone and everyone can cook. Many people still cook with propane or natural gas in their homes. This is used in ovens or on stoves. Fossil fuel based cooking systems like these create high emissions for a home and poor air quality. Recent research has shown that cooking with gas can create many health issues for people over time. See the link in the comments below for more details on this research. Fortunately, there are many alternatives to cooking with gas. The most common is an electric resistance oven or cooktop. These avoid the use of fossil fuels in your home, thus reducing emissions and health issues. Induction stoves are also a great option. These are safer to use as the surface doesn't get hot and they offer additional energy savings. See the links below for some very affordable options. Induction stoves are also all electric and they help to improve indoor air quality. 
The most efficient way to cook though is with pressure cookers. Products like the Instant Pot can cook food for a fraction of the energy of an oven or a stovetop. Use these strategies and the emissions from your cooking will drop dramatically. Number six, the fireplace. Who doesn't love sitting next to a warm fire? It's part of our deep history and it creates a great ambiance in our homes. Propane and natural gas based fireplaces, however, can be a very large source of emissions. They can also be a fire hazard. The good news is that there are all electric fireplaces that offer experiences similar and better than gas based fireplaces today. Recent electric fireplaces offer color options for flames, simulated smoke, and extremely cozy experiences. They aren't like the dorky older electric fireplaces with cloth flapping inside. These state-of-the-art fireplaces can be recessed into walls, wall-mounted, or freestanding. They also have many different heat output options so you can tune the amount of heat needed to a room. They also remove the need for chimneys which can make homes drafty in the winter when fires aren't burning. You will be surprised at how cool these fireplaces are. Check out the link below for some examples and download the ebook to get even more detail on what's possible with these newer electric fireplaces. Number seven, grilling. The final place to focus your conversion to fossil fuel free is your grill. This one will vary a lot based on how much you grill. Some people grill a lot, some people barely grill. If you do grill a lot and are using charcoal or propane, here are some great options to get off of these fuels. One, wood pellet grills. Wood pellets are from a renewable resource and offer a healthy alternative to charcoal, which can have many additives and coal in it. Two, electric grills. When sourced from renewable electricity, these are dramatically better than other grilling options. You can also still add soaked wood inside the grills to get smoky flavors. I'll have some examples in the ebook and in the link below. And finally, solar grills. These are not very common yet, but they are the most sustainable option as they use solar energy directly to cook food. There's a couple different designs on the market and it's definitely worth trying out if you get the chance and it's a way to have a completely renewable grilling technique. Those are the top seven strategies to go fossil fuel free in your home. If you'd like an ebook with each of these featured and links to a number of example products for each type, visit nzcbuilding.com. I also have the link below uh, to get your free ebook. The ebook also has a to-do list for you to check off on your journey to fossil fuel free. Now, if you made it this far in the video, you might be thinking, wait, so many things are missing to be truly fossil fuel free. Why just these seven? That's true. You need to look at where your food comes from, long distance travel, products you buy, etc., etc. It can be overwhelming sometimes. That's why I recommend you focus on these seven items in the video, as these are all actionable right now and they will dramatically reduce your emissions to get in alignment with the Paris Climate Commitment targets. The great thing is that you can check each one off of the list as solved and move on to share your stories with others and advocate for broader cultural change and policy changes. Too many people out there are advocating for others to change while not owning the change themselves in their own lives. Be a leader in your own life and encourage others to do the same. Please continue to work on other aspects of your life in parallel as well or after you finish these. We all need to work together to transform our own lives and our collective futures. You have the power to make these changes. Now, go for it. Lastly, I want you to repeat this statement. Really let it sink in and think about it. Earth is my home. Earth is my neighbor's home. And Earth is home to 90% of humans who are yet to live. I will dedicate my life to loving my neighbors alive now. And my neighbors yet to live.
Thank you for your time. Subscribe to this channel if you would like more videos and resources to help solve the climate crisis and for methods to implement fossil fuel free living.